Alright, it's me again with uh, another video on my brand new digital camera. Um, one thing I would want to mention, uh, um, for those of you who probably had your hopes up, I did not get um, the digital video recorder I wanted because, actually that's my bad, because um, I asked for the wrong thing. I asked uh, for a coaxial to USB connector doohickey, uh, which actually just enables uh, TV uh, viewing on your PC. Uh, I thought that was digital video capture, but um, I was wrong. If anyone is aware of anything I could do to um, use that coax to USB converter and use some kind of digital video recording, thing, let me know. Um, all right. Well, anyway, lately I've been doing crap. You know, like reviews of things that are crap, uh, not crap videos. My videos are the best. Um, ugh, there's an airplane going over the house. God damn it! It's like it's like 10:30 at night, and there's an airplane. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm not doing crap today. I'm actually doing something that's pretty useful uh, for pretty much any student. You know, they target it around young teens, but really, uh, even college students can find this useful. It is the Fly Fusion Pen Top Computer, the ultimate high speed homework system. Uh, upload what you write, finish homework faster, play MP3s, make time fly. Um, yeah, so basically you write stuff on a special Fly Fusion paper, upload it to your computer using the software, and there you go. Handwritten words to text. Uh, seems kind of too good to be true, right? Actually, it does work, and it does work great. Um, considering you don't have sloppy handwriting. Um, let's see, how should I demo it first? Well, here is the pen itself, the Fly Fusion pen. Um, it looks kind of bulky at first, but you really do get used to it. It's bulky, yes, but it's not heavy. Not heavy at all. Really easy to hold. Um, there's a memory card cover if you ever wanted to buy additional memory. They have like 64 megabyte packs you can get. Um, this has pins on it and everything, but I don't think this actually holds anything. Uh, cause I could still turn it on without this in it. Um, it's got a built-in rechargeable battery. It's got a headphone jack right here. You take off the cover. Um, the pen, which re when retracted, is kind of like a stylus for the notebook. I'll get into that. And the most important part, the camera. The camera that picks up uh, what you write. See, maybe I can get like a focused shot of it. No, but you get the point. There's a camera there. It reads your handwriting. There you go. Um, it came with this fairly thin notebook to get you started. Uh, the Fly Fusion notebook. First, let's turn this thing on. It's got a nice startup too when you turn it on. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Uh, okay, so you touch this to let it know that you're writing in the notebook. And that's it. So, open this up, and you've got your notebook. Uh, I know the camera's not going to pick this up, but uh, there's actually tiny, tiny dots on the special notebook paper, so not any paper will work. Um, so, you know, it came with this notebook. It's got like, uh, let's see, an estimate, like, I don't know, 20, 30 sheets of paper. Um, What's cool is this can hold MP3s, and it's got a built-in speaker, so uh, you could use the speaker or the headphones. Uh, obviously, you want, wouldn't want to use the speaker in the middle of class. Um, the cover actually has different buttons. Uh, of course, they're not actually buttons, it's just paper, but the pen knows what it is when you press it. Uh, you got MP3 controls, quiz controls if you're doing like a pop quiz. You've got the main menu selections here. Uh, volume control, it's maxed out the volume so it's easier for you guys to hear. Okay, there we go. Uh, turn fly notes on and off. Uh, calculator, which uh, works, of course. Five times six equals thirty. Yeah, so that works. Uh, keyboard, if you want to um, schedule an event or task that you need done. Um, then the paper itself. Uh, it's got a nifty feature. Uh, if there's a feature you ever need to access, you just draw the button for it. Uh, so let's say we want to know the time and date. So let me retract the pen here. Retract. Got to turn it clockwise. I, I always forget. 
I always end up fooling around with it, making myself look stupid. There we go. So there's a pen tip. Reds and blue ink. I was uh, not a blue ink person. I, I always went in black ink. Um. Anyway, so let's say I want to know the current time. So I'm gonna draw. You have to draw them fairly large. I found out. Uh, not when you're writing, but only when you want to do the buttons. Um, time is a T, and for all the icons, you have to circle them. So draw an uppercase T, circle it, and touch it. 10, 36 p.m. Friday, December 28th, 2007. So there you go. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, of course, it has access to all those things on the inside cover right here. Uh, you got memory status. Memory available, 64%. It has uh, 64 megabytes of built-in memory. Uh, the 64% left is just coincidence. Uh, battery status. Battery level is full. Okay, and you got the time and date right here, of course. 10.37 p.m. Friday, December 28th, 2007. Yeah, I know, I'm up late. Uh, fly notes memory, uh, that's for when you're jotting down, like, pages and pages of stuff, and, um, uh, all the things you wrote get saved into the memory. Uh, that's a separate memory thing on its own, I believe. Fly notes memory is 100% free. I don't have anything on there right now. Um, another thing that's pretty cool, you can write phrases or words or letters or anything and hear them dictated by the pen. So it's it's kind of like practice. Um, yeah, I was I was demonstrating this to my grandma and I put grandma is totally awesome and it <laughs> uh, it said the whole phrase. It was kind of cool. Okay, so fly practice. Fly type practice. Now I have to tap down tap to scroll the down the menu. Scroll the menu. Oh, you speaking for me? Excuse me, but I have the camera time here. Thank you. Go. Go. Fly type practice. Uh. Tap a little scratch pad. Scratch pad, that's what we want. Scratch pad. Print a letter, number, word, or phrase of up to six words. Double tap when you're done. Okay, so we'll put, um. We'll write something like. In your notebook, stealing your words. Of course, not abbreviated. It wouldn't read it. In your notebook, stealing your words. Okay. Um. Let's try another one. Oops. I made a typo. It said B, but that's actually the word too. Um, let me try another sentence. More videos coming soon. More videos coming soon. I double tapped it without writing anything. It said period. Um, okay, so let me turn it off. Uh, oh wait a minute, I forgot to show you something in the back. Uh, quickly before the time, the ten minute time limit hits. Uh, go 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 go. In the back cover, there is a music synthesizer. Uh, a lot of the features are unavailable because if you don't have Music Studio Pro, such as recording songs and listening to them later, uh, lots of rhythm loops and stuff like that. But you can use for free the piano. <laughs> Oh my god, I tried to play Happy Birthday, that was terrible. Uh, I can do it with a little bit of practice. Uh, there's a few rhythm loops available. You could speed them up, slow them down. And there's a turntable. There's some instruments. And that's it. Yeah, this is a really useful tool. Uploading your notes, you can save them as a text document. If you have really good handwriting, you'll recognize all that you wrote. Um, this thing is really useful. I, I really like it. 
Um, and that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, 80 bucks, uh, it's not something you want to pick up, like, as a gadget to play around with a few minutes. You want to actually, you know, get some use out of it for the price. Um, alright, and there's the flat top pen computer. Thanks for watching.